Hey team, welcome back to the Wilson Combat Channel, where we hope you'll subscribe and press the notification bell so you get notified of new content as soon as it appears. My name is Mass Ayub, and my topic for today, forgive me, they're making me do this, gun abuse. Behold, a very expensive, beautifully made Wilson Combat ultralight carry. Don't do this. Meow. And the reason for the Meow. I firmly believe every time someone slams the slide closed on an empty semi-automatic pistol, particularly in 1911, somewhere a kitten dies. Now, this has become an issue, and the reason I've been asked to discuss it is because there's been some controversy on it about the internet. It has been covered not once, but twice here on the Wilson Combat Channel by world and national champions and manufacturers of these guns who know what they're talking about. Bill Wilson has told you. Ken Hackathorn has told you. The young guys, Austin and Guy, have told you. Don't do that. It abuses the damn pistol. Let's explain one more time why, because there's still some folks out there that just haven't got it. First, on the 1911, when you're talking a, a highly tuned 1911 like the Wilson Combat, but really any 1911 to some degree, the sear engagement can be sensitive. That slamming it forward tends to damage that. I first heard of it decades ago from Jim Clark Sr., the great 1911 pistol smith and national champion shooter himself. What happens when a round, these are dummy rounds by the way, when the round goes is chambered as the pistol cycles, people think, well gee, it's rocketing back and forth when we shoot it, isn't it designed for that? Sure, it's designed for that, but the mechanism is being cushioned as the round strips off and that friction is slowing down the mechanism and reducing the wear to the parts. That's how John Moses Browning designed the gun to run. He designed it to be shot, not to be slammed empty. So what we're gonna deal with here, with any gun, and Bill Wilson has told you this himself, that's abusive behavior. It's the slamming the slide closed when the pistol's empty is akin to whipping the cylinder in and out on a revolver. To most people who are gun professionals, it's the mark of the amateur. And if you do that with one of their guns, they're not gonna let you touch one of their guns again. Among other things, uh, the extractor, and we'll show you that here in slow-mo, is designed as soon as the slide's coming forward, bringing the cartridge in a battery. That hook-shaped extractor is being cushioned and stabilized by the rim of the cartridge casing. And as it slams in a battery, that's the way the gun was designed to work. When that's not there, a little bit of bounce can occur. Now the extractor is shaped like this, and if you ever saw a broken extractor, it probably broke right here. Do you think, therefore, it's a bad idea for us to be doing something that's gonna be causing this kind of flexion that will create stress lines here? Think about it. On any of them, you're battering the locking lugs as well. The slamming the slides forward, particularly on 1911s, has been associated with those guns eventually doubling and going full auto. That is, the hammer follows and <laughs> things get ugly real quick. Another thing to remember, I've had a lot of guys say, well, I have a SIG, I have a Glock, and I, I don't have to worry about the sear. Not the sear, but still locking lugs, still extractors. And you've got to remember, every one of us out on the range is a role model for others. And someone else seeing you do that will think it's okay to do it with their gun, and it perpetuates gun abuse. So my apologies to this fine pistol, and my apologies to uh, our friend Philip, who donated it for the project. Fortunately, Philip works for Wilson Combat, and if we break his gun, he knows where he can get a good deal on getting it fixed. In the end, use things the way they're meant to be used. John Browning designed that slide to rocket back and forth while it was feeding live ammunition. I've seen guys go on TV or on, on YouTube, take their pistol like this and say, we know you can slam the slide because when I was in the service and stood watch, we'd show the quartermaster, the magazine, and the pistol like this, and when we were done, well, those are GI issue guns. Military spec on the original 1911 was five to seven pounds. They generally run six to seven and occasionally more. So they'll take more abuse. They're, they're also sloppier. But the other thing to consider, those guys on watch were generally issued one magazine, 
with five rounds and occasionally weren't even allowed to have it on the gun. And people who build protocols like that around defensive handguns are not the people I look to for advice on how to be a professional with a 1911 or any other pistol. Slamming the slide when it's empty is, is amateur. What's even worse is you lock the slide open and to save yourself having to top off a magazine, you drop a torpedo into the launch tube and slam it closed. Your extractor was not designed to work in that direction and that is known to break extractors. How do I know, you might ask? Well, when I was 12 years old, I got my first 1911. Nobody ever told me not to, and it seemed like a logical way to load it. And after a while, I wound up needing a new extractor. You've heard from the best. They've given you this advice. Bill Wilson, who was famous for modifying 1911s and famous for manufacturing with maybe the finest ones on the planet Earth, told you don't slam it when it's empty. Ken Hackathorn, who has gun, done gun design consulting here at Wilson Combat and elsewhere, told you. Austin Prue told you, national and world champions. You want to slam the slide forward when you're loading the pistol to make sure that you fully chamber. But it's easy to remember, slam it loaded, ease it empty. Slam it loaded, but ease it empty. You've checked that it's unloaded, at the IDPA match or something, you'll dry fire with, uh, the gun once downrange for a final safety check and holster. If you won't listen to the world champions, you probably won't listen to me and there's not much I can tell you, but pass the word, slam it loaded, ease it empty. Little pistol, accept my apologies. We'll see you next time on the Wilson Combat Channel.